question. I, I just kind of say, I cannot tell you just how happy it makes me to see so many leaders of our greater community sitting in front of me, um, ready to get to work on the most important challenge facing our world, and thus the most important challenge facing Sacramento. Thank you all for your service. And I want to thank Mayor Cabalden, who you will hear from in just a moment. Um, it was very important that we launch this together because the climate challenge, of course, knows no artificial boundaries. And I hope and believe that this will turn into a much larger effort throughout the entire region. Of course, we have representatives of a number of our of our regional governmental organizations here, um, where this is more than just the city of Sacramento and West Sacramento. Um, I understand how busy you all are in your professional and community lives, and I'm grateful that you're making climate action a priority by participating in this process. Why are we here? Simply put, the state has set a goal to hit carbon zero by 2045. It is important that our cities do their part. And both Mayor Baldwin and I have endorsed these goals for Sacramento and West Sacramento. The need is obvious. At a time when the federal government is retreating from the climate battle, mitigating the threat of climate change and making our communities more resilient to its impacts is not only part of our personal ethos, it's also our responsibility as mayors and as leaders of our respective cities. We need not be reminded uh, beyond the horrific tragedies that have occurred in Northern California over the last three weeks. We know that wildfires now are more frequent and intense because of climate change that increasingly severe droughts affect our rich agricultural heritage, and that the risk of flooding from our two major rivers that converge between our cities, these are daily reminders of the threat before us and the need for aggressive action. By working together to get to carbon zero, Sacramento and West Sacramento can become model cities for combating climate change to ensure the safety of our residents and to strengthen our position as a hub for investment in advanced transportation technologies. We must work, and this commission is intended to be the leader of working towards a common vision. We want to establish, we ask you to establish goals and priority areas of action to achieve carbon zero. We ask you to strengthen local and regional partnerships to address climate change. We intend for this work to be a catalyst for increased investment in clean energy initiatives. This is not climate versus economic development. It is both. We intend for this commission to help make this region more competitive for state cap and trade funds. We're not getting nearly enough given our prominence and our geographical proximity to the state capital. Let's change that. We need you to help guide us towards becoming the hub for the development and deployment of advanced transportation technologies, helping, helping us to diversify our economy. The state has shown that we can both cut greenhouse gas emissions and grow our economy. Let's take that to the next level here in Sacramento and West Sacramento. And of course, infused in the work of this commission must be a focus on equity strengthening our disadvantaged communities, saving residents money, connecting them to jobs in the clean energy economy, and improving their overall quality of life. Climate action and economic prosperity go hand in hand. The broader economy is already transitioning to cleaner forms of energy and rewarding those who reduce their carbon footprint. Here is your opportunity and our opportunity to come together to identify ways that Sacramento and West Sacramento can take advantage of this transition on behalf of not just some people, but all of our residents. And finally, from a Sac city of Sacramento perspective, and this might be a little bit of a surprise to you, because we didn't really talk about this when 
we spoke with you, but I would like this commission to help inform the development of our city strategy for inclusive economic development, which will help guide the implementation of the newly passed Measure U funds and diversify our economy and ensure prosperity for our neighbors. So in other words, we are at the beginning of a process to help determine how we're going to invest these Measure U funds, especially the second half cent, the campaign on building a modern, inclusive economy. It ought to be centered on green energy and improving the climate. I want to thank all the funders here, uh, because we would not be here if the funders did not step up. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the many of whom are climate leaders in the room right. We got a very generous gift from the Leap Resources Legacy Fund for $30,000. I want to thank the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Management District. Uh, Dr. Ayala, thank you for your support. We got a grant from SMUD. You all heard SMUD? Sacramento Municipal Utilities District. Um, our groundbreaking, uh, wonderful public utility. Thank you. Sacramento Regional Transit as well contributed to this effort. Uh, I know uh, SACOP helped facilitate um, some, some funding, which we appreciate. Park West Casinos and Western Dental Services, the City of Sacramento, specifically the Department of Public Works and the Community Development Department, the Ford Foundation, Kaiser Permanente, Next Gen America, led by Tom Steyer. Um, and finally, a thank you to a couple of people who really put their heart into this. One is Jennifer Gress, who is here uh, in the audience. Jennifer, thank you so much for all your great work in helping us get started. And to Anne Stauswald and to Kate Meese, uh, and the Local Government Commission. Both Anne and Kate um, have really taken this mantle, and uh, we would not be here but for uh, your documents together with Jen's to, um, to, to help us raise the money and to get us started.